Hello, hello, and welcome to the final episode of our Elden Ring Guide series. Um, this has been one of my favorite series that I've ever done on the channel. And this is just for the base game. I'm also going to be doing a series for the DLC as well, so be sure to stick around, guys. Uh, I appreciate all the support so far. Um, so before we begin, I'll show you guys exactly what I'm using. So I'm doing Max Upgraded. Great sword with the heavy affinity and uh, lion's claw as the ash of war. Uh, I have the finger seal for my spells. Uh, just blood flame blade and golden bow for now. Uh, I have various armor that get me up to poise fifty six, and these are my talismans. So I have the warrior jar shard, the green turtle talisman, the dragon crest, the dragon crest great shield talisman. And the Haley Drake Talisman number two. Um, you can also sub in the Pearl Drake Talisman if you really want to, because this fight has a lot of non-physical damage in it as well. Um, but this looks fine for now. Um, and for my physic, I have just my health one and the spiked cracked tear. As for my stats, uh, these are my stats right now. I'm level 154, uh, and these are, this is my stat spread. Alright, and now, let's just head straight into this fight. I usually do my buff out here. You can have more buffs if you want, but like, Golden Vow is all I need. A cutscene's gonna play, and you're gonna immediately summon your Mimic Tear. He's gonna chill for a bit, and he can heal. Now, yep. All right, good. And I'm gonna quickly do Blood Flame Blade on here. Yeah, come on. Be careful with Radagon. He does have a lot of ranged attacks. If his hammer glows, that is a problem. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. See, attacks like that is why we got the Pearl, the Halig Drake Talisman, because it negates holy damage. Oh, frick. But you can stagger Radagon, so you'll be fine. We'll try and do this first try. That's going to be so good. There we go. All right. Make sure you don't consume too many things this fight. Because it is a two-phase fight. And it's going to be all about endurance. Now he's going to turn into the Elden Beast. Now what we're going to do is we're going to immediately run behind the Elden Beast and start attacking. Because he's going to be doing a fire attack in front of him. And now we just try and attack him as much as we can. This can be a horseback battle. Uh, because of a recent update, so I do recommend you do horseback, and when he shoots a bunch of things upwards, you should get on your horse and try and dodge it. Yep. Just gotta time things very perfectly. Oh no. Yeah, so these attacks are why we put the Dragon Crest Great Shield Talisman on. Alright. Yeah, this guy loves running away, like, a lot. And when he flies up into the sky like this, you wanna get ready. Oh, no. Okay. Our Mimic got attacked by that. Come on, Mimic. Okay, that's not too bad. Alright. Okay. Yeah, so those are, like, homing missiles. And you wanna run forwards and to the left a little bit to dodge them and you want to stay behind him for this fire attack yeah as i said he loves running away so horseback is your friend come on come on let's get him to half what oh i'm out of mana Sh shucks okay 
I'm running out of mana. Come on, come on, come on. Come on, come on, come on. Alright, he's half. More than half. Yeah. yeah. I'm lucky because Mimic is tanking a lot of the shots here. But you might not be as lucky. Oh no. What's Rogue gonna do? Hit me? <laughs> oh no, I'm sorry. Okay. Just like before, when he goes up in the sky, it's gonna be like a one of those mini games. You just jump over those rings and get out of there before he nukes you. Yeah. Yep, do not get caught in this. Okay, there we go. Oh, fire! If you're in front of him when he's doing the fire thing, pray and run away on the horse as much as you can. Okay, there we go. This used to be uh, not available on horseback, and that was the most worst condition. Oh, when he does this, get off the horse and start dodging. Oh. Because on the horse, you have less of a good chance. You could probably jump them. Yeah, like I said. Oh, no. Okay, okay, I need to relax. I need to relax. Okay, okay, okay. When he does that attack, get as close as you can, because he will hit you uh, from a... Oh, no. He is so low, I can taste it, bro. Oh, yeah, he's gonna do the homing missile thing again. That's okay, we know how to dodge it now. So, to the left, and forwards a little bit. And you will never get hit by it. Oh, man. There we go, beautiful. Beautiful. Two more hits, and this guy is gone. Yep. Oh, no. This fight is all about patience. And we did it! Let's go! First try! First try! And we have beaten Elden Ring! Let's go, guys! Hell yeah! Okay, okay. Before you guys click off, uh, we're gonna do the ending, and I'm gonna show you guys what to do after you beat the game. Because you can still do some stuff after you beat the game. Okay, we're gonna quickly rest here. <laughs> I can't believe we did that first try. Let's go. Yeah, um, I have beaten Elden Ring a bunch of times before, but I've always had to do, like, level 180 and stuff, and I do a bunch of gimmicky builds, but the Guts Greatsword build just works. I can't, like, I can't fault it. Um, and also, since we did Rani's quest, we can also do her ending. Um... And we can also do the default ending as well, if you want. But, since her ending is the best one, we're gonna do hers. Let's go! Honestly, what a great game. I just love From Software, honestly. They're one of the last few AAA game publishers that actually have a soul. It's crazy. Um, but yeah, now that we got the ending... Uh, when th they ask this, uh, you can actually go into New Game Plus One, but I highly recommend that you don't do it, because first, we need to get the best rune farm in the game, and the only way to do it is right after the boss fight. So, we're going to say no for now, because we can start the second journey later. So we're going to say no for now, and we're going to go uh, set up the best rune farm in the game.